it's one second that stands between me and going to the Olympics. It takes every day to drop that one second. You want to breathe, so it's like holding your breath, kicking as fast as you can, like not letting your kick slow down, moving your arms as fast as possible without losing catch for the water. Every time I'm pushing off the wall and I'm doing a really hard set and I feel like throwing up or passing out or crying, I'm like, I need to get faster. It's just on me now to go 26-17 in the 50 meter free. Back in December, uh, the Haitian Swimming Federation asked me to compete for Haiti. That involves like competing for them internationally with the aspiration of me competing for them at the Olympics. If I qualify, I'll be the first female swimmer for Haiti, so that'd be an incredible opportunity. Being at UChicago has definitely helped a lot. Having a personalized routine for weight training is great. And then the pool is really nice because we can change it to 50 meters. Not every pool is the Olympics length, so I'm very blessed to be somewhere where we can easily convert that. Balancing training and UChicago um, has been tough. Yesterday, I stayed up till like 12.30 doing psychology work and then I had practice in the morning. So it's just basically like nonstop training and then nonstop school and then I do it again. There are no role models for Haitians to look up to when it comes to swimming. And so even if things don't work out and I don't get to go to the Olympics, just being able to represent Haiti as a swimmer would be an incredible opportunity. And the fact that I can benefit a lot of people on my journey is just fantastic and so I'm excited for everything that's to come.